हेलो माय लवलीज वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टीम क्राफ्टी आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो फाइनली आई हैव कम विथ माय ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ प्रिजर्विंग फ्लावर्स इनटू योर आर्ट पीसेस सो दिस इज द मोस्ट एस्थेटिक और मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल आर्टवर्क ऑफ रेजिन दैट आई हैव एवर मेड फॉर माय ओन एनिवर्सरी गिफ्ट So this is my dried rose petals from my wedding flower. To make this beautiful artwork, I'm going to use this 10 by 9 inches silicone mold from Art Resin Vibe. They have amazing collection of silicone mold and all the resin supplies. So I will link all the details in the description box so that you can also purchase the same item. So once your base is completely ready I'm going to label it before starting any of the artwork To label it I have this water leveler you can also use another techniques of leveling this base and if you're using this silicon mold the best way to place the silicon mold on the top of any of the MDF board so that you can adjust the level easily but before that make sure your base is completely level for all the surface all right so the material list uh, obviously the resin art art resin from it's a bit see also some yellow pigment powder from art resin vibe Also I have a multiple option uh, to mix with my resin that is the gold flakes also from it's a bit see you can also use some fairy lights uh, some craft petals this is also from it's a bit see and if you're purchasing anything from it's a bit see don't forget to use my coupon code the mali5 to get extra 5% off So this video is going to be the super super special to me because I have preserved our wedding flower into this art pieces in my first year anniversary. You can also do that with your wedding flower, not only the wedding gift, uh, also you can preserve your pet memories, your newborn memories, everything you can save for your lifetime. Now see how I preserve my flower. So likewise I have preserved one of the petals a lot of petals you can say in a book okay so after 10 to 15 days you will see this flowers are getting pressed also the moisture level is almost less so likewise you can preserve all of your flower petals and if you wanted to crush it it will break down very easily and you can create any of the artwork with this method you can also preserve the whole flower in silica powder they are easily available in online i will share one another video if i do with that particular steps so now arrange all the flowers in my silicon mold as per your choice you can select the position of your flower and now i'm going to mix my resin so as you all know that i basically use a uh, twist to one resin from it's a bit see they are very easy to use and their measurement is should be very much proper so here i'm using this silicone measuring cup if you don't have this you can also use some weighing machine if you have it so once my resin mixture is being done i'm going to keep it for you know 2 to 3 minutes in rest position so that maximum air bubbles are comes into the flat surface and it burst up it will help to remove the air bubbles very easily so once my mixture is ready and they are being in rest i'm going to mix it with some 
gold flakes and also some yellow pigment powder. So in the center position of the silicon mold, I'm going to pour this YOLO pigment powder resin and also in the flowers area, I'm going to apply the clear resin with some gold flakes. Also, I'm going to use some silver beads just to enhance the beauty. I'm also experimenting with some violet color of uh, alcohol ink and I'm going to create some beautiful background. I'm sorry I missed this clip to record and I hope it is very much understandable for you. So this project is going to be in three separate days. So this is the first day where I'm applying the resin in the flowers and also the base I have been created. You have to measurement the thickness because you have to pour the resin i think two or three times so that your silicon mold should be a thicker one and once my base is dry i use a heat gun to bubble up to brush up all the bubbles which is also in the present in the yellow part and also in the flowers this is how does it looks like after using this alcohol ink and make sure you have covered your project for the day one this is the beads that i have used um, i have just sparkled some of the parts with the flowers just to make enhancement I will keep it for another 24 hours to completely dry it and then I will go for the second layer. So now this is day 2. My base is completely dry. Now make sure you have completely clean your base before pouring any kind of resin because there must be some dust particles or must be some flowers which is not covered by the resin so you have to remove it with your brush and then I'm going to attach my photos. So here I'm using my wedding photos as a wedding anniversary gift for my love. So you can attach the photos with any glue here I'm using silicone glue make sure your photos are completely laminated and also i'm going to seal it with another coat of clear resin In this part you can also add some more flowers if you want to as a second coat also you can use some gold flakes 
anything that you love to attach also the also you can add some fairy lights to enhance more Make sure in the last you have spread all the ear bubbles equally. Now this is day three. My mold is completely ready, and I have attached one vinyl sticker with the letters "Happy Anniversary to My Love." You can also use anything that you like, and if you can uh, use another coat of resin, that is completely choice of yours. And now it's time to demolding, and I think this is beautiful. You can cover the sides of this beautiful wall hanging with a gold touch and also you can give your order you can make your customization from us you can contact me all the details of contact i will detailed on the description box so don't forget to check this out and if you like this video don't forget to share it with your friends and do subscribe my channel you can learn a lot from this channel see you on my next video till then take care goodbye